Okay. Wrapping with anyone sweet. Fire and Blood, what an epic name. Oh, and Team J-Bro's in the draft. Oh, I want to play Team J-Bro. Um, I've been really impressed with Flame Tongue Yelling. The first thing I see. But there's a Nissa. We're going to take Nissa here. Nissa's too strong to pass up, I think. Nissa can blow people out of the water. I believe it's a bit better than Flame Tongue Yelling here. Okay. Where are we at the table? So we're on the opposite end of Team J, bro. I'm happy that. I'm happy that's the case. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All righty. Nissa. Um, I like, uh... Being so giant with the Nissa. Ugh. Um, there's also Zanagos, which is um a bit more powerful than the Beanstar Giant. But the Beanstar Giant, you can play it earlier. <laughs> my cat's just biting my pencil down. Uh, Nissa, I hate. It's a terrible card. I, I think we gotta take the Bean uh, Beanstar Giant here over the Zanagos. Zanagos has more power, but. I'm trying to make an effort to take cards with smaller mana costs. And Beanstalk Giant is a 3 drop. So, sign me up. Passing on an Island of the Great Revel. And a bunch of other stuff. Karanos is a very powerful card, but again, we don't need another 5 drop. We've already got one. We don't need another. So, um, Nissa is a... Five minor planeswalker. Um for it has five loyalty. And it creates three threes every turn. It turns your lands into three threes. Oh, uh, this is I don't like this. The reason I don't like it is there's like hardly any decent cards that are low costed here. Everything's so expensive. I guess I could take um Kinnan as an early play. Lucranos can be quite powerful. It seems to me that the low, the... I'm actually going to take Sheldok Arla here, I think. The cards that are most powerful in this cube are the ones that don't cost much. Look at this pack. I see one, two cards that cost less than three. We've got to really prioritize true, true drops. Um, I'm going to take the Sheldok and try and wheel Kinnan. Not necessarily playing the Shell Dock. Here we go. Alright, so now I've got some good cards here. Inferno Titan, yeah, sure. The Destiny is fine. There's a uh, Wolf Haven, though. I'm taking the Wolf Haven. I would love to get a Love Struck Beast back, but we, like, more and more I am prioritizing um, the lower drops. Mono White looks wide open. But, um, yeah, Wolf Willow Haven feels a bit here. Ooh, we'll see. I'm, like, I'm not sure like if we're going to play the Shadow Shadow like, Card, oh, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so is Cultivate or Domri? I think I've taken the Cultivate here. Um, again, I'm not sure that I'm red. Domri is very powerful, but I just want to make sure we can hit our mana. And yeah, okay, we got we got a few more three drops, but we really want ones and twos. That's what we're really looking out for here. One and two drops. Looking to do stuff in the first two turns. Mm. Like, we'll find more than enough things to do with Nissa. I'm just worried about... <laughs> We've already got a big thing to do. That's the Beanstalk Giant, but I'm just worried about making sure I've got enough small cards. So I'm saying, this is a... Oh, well. Again, 
Easy pick up here. Big fan of Mimic Bat, but Birds of Paradise is going to help us splash. Um, and going to help us play our spells. Uh, Nissa is a 5 minor planeswalker for 5. Um, you can plus 1 to turn one of your lands into a... Th you can untap it, first of all. Um, it turns your land to a 3-3 three, three with haste and vigilance. Um, and all forests that you tap add an extra green, which is probably the most powerful effect. Even if they lock out this planeswalker with, like, a Phyrexian Revoker or something like that, you still get double mana. Alright, again, we pass up on this card to play a Farseek. Um, easy pick up, I think. Just got to make sure we've got enough two drops. Now we can start making other decisions. What is better, Master of the Wild Hunt or Guruk? I'm just going to take the cheaper card here. Guruk is fine. It's always underperformed a little bit for me. The minus three is actually the biggest part of this card. Um, that can really get you going. But, um, yeah, we'll take the four drop. Okay, so this is our starting pack. Um, I wouldn't mind a Den Protector. Wouldn't hate it. There's also Phyrexian Revoker. I think for our deck, like... It's a 3-2 when it flips. We can get a card back. It's actually a good question. I might take the green card. We'll, we'll let someone else have the Revoker. Den Protector might actually be good. Alright, well, we've got a choice here. I'm actually going to take the Zanagos. It's cheaper than the um, Druid. And it means that we can um, make more mana, make consistent plays. Yeah, done deal. Wow, okay, so we've got two cards back. We also sort of think about, do we want to play the Shell Dock? Um, I think not. I think I'd rather just uh, play the Pelucranos here. Yeah, okay. Last Struck Beast, that's a really good pickup. I love having early plays. Domri as well. Oh, man, that's really good. That is really good. Oh, it's actually close. I'm going to take Garrick. I think City of Brass, Brass is better than the offensive deck. But look, we got sort of all my favorite green cards. We've got the low drops. Uh, I guess we want more ones. And now we get to take a Primeval Titan, which is sort of taking care of the high end. So... Yeah, this deck's kind of coming together. It might not be the best deck, but, it, you know, it'll be solid. And Primary of Titan and Nissa lets us make a lot of mana. We want mana sinks. We want stuff like Prolucranos is a good mana sink. I guess Beanstalk Giant helps in that respect. Um, but yeah, Primary of Titan sounds fine to me here. Yeah. guess I would mind a Kitchen Things for the sideboard. It's probably what I want to wield the most. Uh, red cards, I should also keep my eye out for red cards. Um, mind you, I could just be splashing Jomri and, um, Revel off of Beanstalk, Giant, Cultivate, Birds of Paradise, and Farsic. So we don't need to be that red. Alright, so now it's a Coalition Relic or a Hierarch. There's also a Big Serpent, which I probably should consider. I think I'm going to take the, um, Ignoble Hierarch here. I'm sort of not going, like, I guess... Relic helps us get to Primal Titan. I'm just always so worried. We did wheel. I should take the more powerful card here, shouldn't I? I should definitely just take the Collision Relic. It helps with fixing as well. Yeah, I do like Noble, um, but I did the bird's wield. So we'll get, we'll get a bit greedy here. Okay, so now it's a hinge. I want to maybe make up for my last pick, though. Henge is very powerful. How easy is it to play Henge, though? The life gains are very significant. There's also a pathway. Mm. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take the Henge here. I want more power. Look, I've... I've We've got Haven, Cold Valley. I've got so much um, ramp right now. So if, if I will the Arbel, fantastic. But I don't need it. The want, not a need. Um, not a fan of Beast Whisperer. I'd much rather just take the Hinterlands to maybe splash a Shell Dock. Chandra's still in the pack. Jeez, okay.
Like, I think it's Sami Tekka Glorybringer. There's no real, like, Gym Raise is fine, but I'd rather have the Glorybringer. Glorybringer is really, really powerful. Easy game. Right, so now it's a choice between, like, Genesis Hydra, which actually might have a place in my deck. Um, I sort of want to put, this is like a 7 drop. I think I might just take the Harmonize, though. Drawing 3 is very powerful, and then it's the fact that green doesn't always have access to. Yeah, cool. So there's a sword, which is good for the sideboard. Or Woodfall Primus. Which is good against control. I think I'll take the sword for the sideboard. Um, when I play Mono Green, I like to have access to a sword. I can just untap all my stuff. Yeah, I think that might be a bit better than Woodfall. Alright, I mean, decent 3 drop. I'm not going to say no to that. Oh, well, something else is going to take you that didn't quite come back. Um, I guess Nature's Claim is a decent sideboard card. I mean, Sorcerer's Spyglass. Yeah, the Planeswalkers in this cube are much more scary than Nature's Claim. I'll take a Sorcerer's Spyglass for the, for the board. So, yeah, we're in good position. We really want lands um, more than anything here, I guess, because, mind you, like, we have decent fixing in Farseek, Birds of Paradise. I don't think we're going to get the Ignoble Hierarch back, or maybe even the, um, uh, the other Mount Minor Elf, but I think that's still fine. Again, like, I feel kind of short in one and two drops. This always seems to happen to me. And two, two as usual, too many three drops. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this coalition really, like, wondering, oh, well, never mind, we got it back. We made the right, because we wouldn't have got coalition really back, so I guess we made the right choice in the end. Serpent's not bad, but let's just make sure we can play our spells. Um, so cards I'm looking to cut, I guess, would be... Dead Protector I'm not very interested in. I mean, everything else looks pretty good. Because I th feel like we've got enough minor sinks. When it comes to minor sinks, like, we've got Henge, which will draw us cards, so it's sort of like places to put your minor. We've got um, Blucranos. We've got Harmonize. We've got uh, Radha, Heart of Keld. Yeah, I feel like that's enough places to put our mana. I don't think we'll ever, you know, be in a situation where we don't have things to play. Uh, I'm kind of looking like I want to splash this. Mmm, this is actually an interesting decision. Sun Titan could be good. I think I just want the elf, though. Mind you, we've already got two one drops. I guess uh, having the... Th this is actually kind of important, I think. We might end up actually cutting an elf, because I'm getting, I feel like... Like, I'm getting kind of saturated in these cards. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to miss that. I'm just going to take the Sundering Titan. This matchups with Sundering Titan so good. I don't even want the other elf. This is a great sideboard card. Against artifacts. Alright. Well, I've got a lot of options on the board. And I think I will take play the Shadow, Sheldock R and maybe one blue. I'm probably only going to take play two um, mountains in this deck if I can. It does make um, Still if Champion a bit more awkward, but... Oh, okay, I'm definitely playing that. So yeah, I'm on 22 cards. Definitely got the power. I just want to get rid of this Dam Protector if I can. Yeah, I always get in this position where I've just got like one more pack to go. <laughs> kind of want to play that as well. Okay. Alright, I've been so disappointed in Treasure Map. Um, red cards, no, there's not a really one. I guess I just take this, like, and maybe exchange Woodfall Primus for this. What's my worst card? Like, I kind of like all the mid-range cards here. And I like my low drops, so I guess I get a Woodfall Primus and play Avenger instead. Sure. Plow under. Um... Again, I'm really going to prioritize getting good lands here, but 
doesn't seem to be many good lands available. So Embercleave is very good. Like I could play an Embercleave in this deck, but I feel like we've already got off big stuff. Um, I'm going to take Plow Under here. Question is, what do I cut for it? Sort by minor cost. Mm, Guruk Apex Predator could be a play. There's also an ever flowing chalice. <laughs> um, you're really down here. It's my weakest card. I like all my cards are really strong. Okay, I can play Guruk. I'd probably rather play Guruk than um, with Void Elemental. Question is, what is Guruk better than? I can still leave Champion because Imana's getting too awkward. Yeah, I can buy that. Oh, wow, I love Sylvan Guaranteed. I feel like this is like the best ramp card. Okay, I'm gonna play some character. Now I've got to cut something else. But all my stuff is just so good. But I'll figure it out later. I'm gonna take in this. Oh, now there's a devoted druid as well. Yeah, I've got to take devoted druid. <laughs> I've got to cut something else now. Um. Maybe I actually cut the Wolf Willow Haven. Just because it doesn't fix me. And I'm actually lacking this Cultivate less and less now. <laughs> Oracle or Crater Hoof? I think Hoof is actually really important for finishing the game. Oracle does put you a long way ahead. Hoof is just not wheeling. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be two cards left. And it's gonna be like nimble obstructionist and something else. Hmm. I'm gonna take the four the two two here. I think um it'll end up being a bit better. Well, we're getting everything here. Question is, do I want to play Tooth and Nail? I'm going to put the Hydra to the side. I think Tooth and Nail is maybe a bit weak. I think I'd rather play um, Ulamog. The ramp keeps coming. Alright, so now I am getting rid of my three my three drop ramp guys. Like um, Love Struck Beast. Domri actually, oh no, not, sorry, Lost Rapix is really good. I want to get rid of Beanstalk Giant. Um, Secure Tribe Builder, I think, is maybe slightly better than Rapid Growth, though that's very close. Um, I think I actually might cut my birds. Where's um, the Lost Rapix? The Lost Rapix I really like. Okay. This doesn't really matter. This actually does matter. We want to splash black. We could go so big in this deck. Um, I think there's going to be a place for this. Yeah, we, we just got every single green card. We were the only green card player at the table. I reckon, reckon Hoof might will. Jeez. Like, I just don't need to play these creatures if... Hmm. Yeah, both the lands came back. Okay. Don't think I want to play Hissing, uh, Hissing Quagmire, to be honest. Alright, so there's a lot of things we got to think about here. We got every single card we wanted. Um, so, it might be... We're going to have to make some really harsh cuts. And I'm actually looking at this Master of the Wild Hunt. I 
I've been really impressed with Gurek. Avengers is going to be fantastic. Right hand shield is really good. Flower is fantastic. Lorbing is fine. This is good. Yeah, Master I think is out. There's going to be something better we can do. I do actually kind of like Blueprint for the Mana Sync. Gurek helps get us our Avenger and um, our Ulamog. Alright. Well, that's our card. Those are our cards. Could even potentially play a Genesis Wave. What are our best cards here? I could even play like um, Woodfall Primus. It's like a really annoying guy. Yeah. I kind of like this. How big does... Like I need to play Genesis Wave for 10. What's better, Genesis Wave for 10 or just playing Ulamog? Probably just playing an Ulamog. Right. So, and you know, I think I do play a Sheldock Isle and a Hinterland Harbour. Um, Southern Titan's a bit of an interesting one. I feel like I'd end up destroying all of my own stuff, but if we play the five color deck, we'll side it in. Okay, so. Woodland Cemetery is good, Hinterland Hub is good, we're going to add lands, we go 1, 2 red, 1 black, and 10 green. That gives us 1, 2, and then like 10, 12 green sources, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, we've got the power. Woodfall Primus, I think Woodfall Primus is more impact than Sundering Titan. But it is close. Can even play a Genesis Wave. Do I regret not having... What did I take over Crater Hoof? Was it an Ulamog? It was. I think that's correct, though. I guess I... Yeah, I was playing all the dorks for, um... Ulamog never really works for me. Okay, let's go and jump in with this. <sighs> Got five cards to play before turn one. We've got our fast six crew tribe out Alright. Pretty sure we're the, like one of the only green drafters at the table. I Wolpard have now he's playing first. I actually think I might mulligan this because we're so far off doing anything. Uh, I'm gonna keep this ditching Zanagos here, I think. Yeah, we're we'll trying to have this um, Oracle Gas back into the game. But yeah, no three drops in. Uh, no, nothing below three in either one of our hands here, but I'm happy with Morgan. Yeah, see, there are a lot of two, twos and threes. I'll um, put a Love Strike Beast under this. Night Vale Spectre's going to do a lot of work. It's probably the game over. We'll try and work our way into it. The hard part is we're going to play our lands and he's going to steal our good cards. Alrighty, yeah. I mean, we're going to get to our Love Struck Beast a bit quicker, I guess. I 
my forest. <laughs> right on time as usual. Well, I guess it's time to play Oracle. And he's going to be able to play a Heart of Keld. Yeah, like, oh, that's really good. <laughs> I could put my land on top of my Larian and play it. Khan, mm hmm. Shop. Radio, so. So we'll go for us here. We can tack down the car, which is nice. And we'll go search for a red. So unfortunately, if, if, if he hits our mountain, he cuts us off a glory bringer, which kind of sucks. Coalition Relic's a good one. Go Coalition Relic into Heart of, Ke into, um, Heart of Keld, which is quite nasty. I do get to play Great Henge. So maybe we can prolong, prolong this game a bit. I feel like we can potentially fight our way back into this. Uh, I'll start off with this. Untap. I should be able to afford this. This costs nine, so it should cost like six. I play that. Does that work? And then I can attack and use Plow Under. Probably targeting his swamp, say. Eh, yeah, Tiger's Island, why not? Oh, I could have suspended search for tomorrow. I think I'd rather play search tomorrow almost. So I guess um I wanna draw a new log. I can't play my glory bringer if I draw it. Just quite nice. So we're at the point where sort of any creature will be fantastic here. And I will be able to activate my Sheldock Arm next turn, which is nice. Yeah, here comes the Heart of Keld. Oh, yeah, okay. Not what I wanted to say, but we've got options. Um, We want to go... 
like this. We want to probably play it like this. Or cast. And that will get us a card out of a great out of a deck. And then we can play this. Um, probably the Heart's Desire, and then we can drop a Love Struck Beast. <laughs> I know I've got cards in this deck. Don't lie to me. Um, uh, we don't really need the blue anymore, so let's just do that. So, I got flips, and he can make us discard the card if he wants to. Return, guy can I can turn and return the bone shredder if he wants. So that's probably what he's going to do. We can chump the uh, hard to kill. And so yeah, Night Vale Spectre has just been the death of me here. But um, yeah, not having a, a one or two drop proved to be pretty crucial. I mean, well, like I said, uh, we're not in a terrible position. We just really want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. He he can also play an Ulamog. I'm sure he would um be being a bit more careful. I'm sure he would attack with Knights, but not Mel Spectre, Spectre if he knew Ulamog was on the cards. Okay, Ravenous Chupacabra. My Nissa might not die, might not live through the the turn here. I did find myself a bit short of my mana sinks. Does he get Ulmog? Ugh. Yeah, I feel like he's sitting on all my cards and I'm uh, hitting all my lands here. Here comes prime time. I wonder if Ulmog will be good enough here. Yeah, uh, left unchecked and Nightfall Spectre does a lot of work. Uh, so Ulamog's what I kind of need to even this game out. Woodfall's not bad. Um, probably just killing the Lily. Well, I can draw again as well, so let's start off with uh, Woodfall Primus. Um, I think I actually want to attack my blue lands. I think that doesn't really do I mean, uh, actually it could get annoying. Yeah, but what's the best killer here? What I'm worried about is um if I draw Okay. Immediate regret, I guess. Um we can finally get rid of his dude. Oh, that's also very good. Bye bye. Okay. I feel like all of a sudden we're winning, somehow. Despite him playing all the cards, like Harmonize is gonna be fantastic here. And he, he's on ten health. Thing is, he can draw a Barkai, so he's got a lot of options. But I mean, we've got an Ulmog in our deck. <laughs> One in fifteen. Well, really. Do we have 14 mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Yeah, if we draw any land, we have 14 mana, so we can harmonize into... So I guess it's like a 1 in 3 chance, almost. No, a bit less than that. It's a good chance we drop an Illumog next turn. We gotta be kinda careful of his harder kill though. Maybe Nyssa won't survive this turn. Hmm. We might be able to take out the coalition relic at least. If Nyssa dies, yeah, this game does get a lot harder because then it becomes a lot harder to play Matt Ulamog. Though we do get another trigger off the um Great Hinge if that happens. There's a good chance my Woodfall Primus will hit the bin. Yeah, okay. Let's see if he finds the attack here, because uh, yeah, he should definitely get the uh, be attacking in with the um. Like he could bring me down to four. Like if he does a full sling, I'm forced to one to jump in front of in front of the um harder Keld. Oh, so he can't attack with the harder Keld anymore. He wants to play a big ever flowing chalice. Alright, well, he didn't attack. I thought that was a mistake there. So now we can kill the Heart of Keld. But first... Let's harmonize. Mmm, okay. Um... <sighs> decisions, decisions. I kind of want to kill the Primeval Titan. I play this. Black. Bang, 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 bang. That's six. So I do have to tap one of my... Probably this one. I could just get rid of the Cardic Held as well. Feels like I'm ahead. Oh, I don't get the life. Ah, oh, very good opponent. Um, I kind of want to just attack him with Woodfall here. I've got to remember to use my Nyssa. Yeah, I didn't quite see the um, sack there, but I feel like I'm in a, setting up myself for a kill with the Glory Bringer next turn. He's got a lot of mana at his disposal for sure. One thing I could do is actually kill the Keld, which is tempting, though that would leave my Nyssa very exposed, but then he has to kind of block. I suppose if he's blocking with everything. He won't be able to kill my Nissa if he makes these blocks. Yeah, I really wanted to put. Uh, I really wanted to do this. If I could play a Gurak in this minus on the um, harder kill, I'll be in a really good position. Well, I thought I was losing this game, but turns out Nightbell Spectre. Didn't quite get there in the end. I haven't won yet, but like, <laughs> he has like so much mana. Oh. 
I also like this. And this is also plusing, so even if he chucks one thing on it, yeah, it's going to be tough for him to... He also has to kill... Hmm. That's okay with me. I've got trample. I'm going to go for, through for a bit of damage. All right, well, I am going to kill the Heart of Keld here. Bye bye, Gorok. And you can kill my Apex Predator, but he's on six. Um, one card that does get him out of it. Is this, because this is green? I can sacrifice all colored permits. I don't think it's green, though. Yeah, I feel like these uh, lands are still colorless, so even if he causes me to sacrifice all my permanents. Where's a glory bringer? Oh no, if he plays a shield red, uh, doesn't quite do it though. What else he got? Like I'm gonna sacrifice Woodfall Primus and bring it back, and he can get his Night Pulse back to back or something. Ten minutes has gone to this game, so he's put a lot of thought into it. Okay. Yeah, bring that back. Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure he's dead now. <laughs> he should probably kill my FX Predator, but yeah, I think he's just about finished anyway. Um well, the trap was going to be really good. I mean, he's dead anyway. I should just... Yeah, whatever. Um... I guess we'll just exert an attack. No reach. I'm missing. Oh, that's only... That's not enough damage. No. I was meant to attack with other things. Oh well. I'm a goose. I had lethal, but I just didn't feel like it. Sorry, I thought this was a 6 6. Man, if I lose this now, I'll be pretty disappointed. Uh, I suppose. Alright, so he goes to 1. Now let's see what we can draw. Good card. Alright, uh, we'll keep playing cards. That's five. Um, I could also play as an Argos and add a bunch of mana. Actually, sounds kind of fun. How much fun do I get? Nine. I think this is only five by my count. We didn't quite get there in the end. It's the best we could do. I suppose he does get to copy my um copy glory bringer. Yeah, I should have won that last turn. I've given him a chance here, but... I'm gonna have six. He can do what he likes. 
20 life. Can he, can he get me to zero? Um, I wouldn't have gone Ravenous, Ravenous Chupacabra there, I'll be honest. Okay, bye bye Polyphonos. Okay. We purposely didn't swing just to eat down his time a bit. Wow, that went well. <laughs> that went okay. Um, it's a lot of creatures, like Master of the Wild Hunt would have a He's black. A lot of black cards there. I guess Sword might be kind of nice against the black deck. What well, what is a bit weird? I don't know, like all my cards seem really good. I really like every bit of my deck. I like Heart of Keld, like Search for Tomorrow. These six cards, Search for Tomorrow, Love Struck Base, and the two, all the two drops, they're so important. Gurok seems fine, there's a lot of creatures, Nissa, Plow Wonder. Again, yeah, I like everything I got going here, man. Woodfall Primus, even then, Woodfall Primus came down and just did a lot of work. I got cut Woodfall Primus to add a sword. Or a Genesis Wave. Genesis Wave would have been really good at the end of there. I'll go sword. Alright, let's try this. We mulliganed, we didn't play anything until turn 4, and we still won. Whew, felt kind of good. This is another hand of Misko and Mulligan. Here we go. Here's what we wanted to do. What don't I want? I guess I'd rather have uh, Guruk than Hardikel because Guruk can take out his flyer. Oh, actually, I take that back, because I can't play Guruk on turn 4 with this hand. I have to wait. So it's kind of better to get harder colored, maybe? Maybe it's still better, because Guruk, I go... Could, could get rid of Primeval Titan as well. Hmm, this takes out his Flyer. So like the only card that was really threatening me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Like it's a bit weird because I don't have a turn three play now, but land. Oh yes, never mind. Everything's under control. Oh okay. That's a good one. That is also quite good. That's probably one of the best draws we could have got. Um, Snugus the Reveler, the Reveler. Now it gets a bit awkward. Okay, well that's why we kept the um. Guruk, so we are going to flip Guruk. He's going to have to take a turn off to kill it. Though, um, this guy is going to do quite a bit of damage for him, I think. I'm going to get blue. Alright, well, it's very happy to have Ulamog in hand. Unless I have to discard it, which I'll be very disappointed. Um, we can't block Shadow, so I guess we just, um, do three damage, flip him, and attack. But he can still out Guruk and start making two twos. Oh, but he doesn't want to. Yeah, I'm not sure I completely agree with that. Ah, oh, no, actually, no, he can't, can he? Yep, that happens. Oh, that was an insane draw. Back your lands go. It doesn't stop his mana so much, but... 
Oh, he can steal that? He can play that on me next turn. That would be a bit rude. At least he'll get his, um, Voidwalker off the board. Like, he should give me a test of my own medicine here. That would be fair. Oh, really? You're not using the Voidwalker? Come on, man. That surprises me. Now I have sort of got to, you know, put him back on lands. If I draw a land here, I'll play a primary Batard, and I'm looking very nice. Yeah, I would have cast my, um, Plow Under there. Tap it, sacrifice it, choose an exile card, your opponent controls. It can play it. Oh! Without... You don't have to pay its mana cost. Unreal. Okay. I suppose, yeah, give me a test of my own medicine, opponent. I mean, I do... I am kind of playing a 5-5. Five five. So, there, so there is that. Oh, I can get rid of my shell dock. Mind you, it's not, goes, not even that good. I wouldn't mind redoing my shell dock. Sure thing, man. Uh, put a card on top. I'll do this one, and then this one. Uh, it was actually a mistake, because now I'm going to... I guess maybe getting rid of that would be... Oh, actually. I want to play these cards. No, hmm. So I guess if I had done the island, eh, whatever. All right, in comes the Lovestruck Beast. So I guess, um, gave me a test of my own medicine. Oh, I'm very happy he's doing that. Just don't add to the board, mate. I'm happy. I'm not happy to see that. Oh, we've lo have we lost our island? Island's at the bottom, huh? So we need to draw like a far seek or something. You can put Love Struck Beast on Mimic Bat if he kills it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a good one to have a Mimic Bat. Yikes. Okay. Alright, I don't want to give him a Titan, is the problem. He's gonna let this die, chuck it on the Mimic Rat. Now I can steal my Pelucranos by playing... Alright, we've lost this game, unfortunately. Mimic Bat was so good there. It's just got an ultimate. Now he does have Vit Mimic Vow untapped, and he can just play my Titan the next turn. Alright, I think we do concede here. He's tapping out for something? Shield Red. Uh, okay. I see enough. I like my opponent's deck. Um, what he's missing is removal, though, like, straight up. I uh, Planeswalker removal, I guess. Um, I guess I do want to stop the Mimic Vat. Or the... Ashiok. I might have to look up which Ashiok that is. Um, I guess he has, has removal for creatures. And then I uh, take out the Woodfall Primus. Seems a bit weird. What did I add? Sort of Feast of Pamon. Mmm. Just cutting cards and untapping all my stuff. Maybe it is a bit slow. I did like it. Plow under looked good. I kind of need creature removal myself. Maybe I put a beast from within then? Oh, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to take out the sword. Because that requires other creatures. I don't want to have those kind of requirements on my shoulders. 
I had a very good hand there. I like Pelucanos, it kills things. I like these because it kills things. I like this because it kills things. I could take I think I'm taking out Zanika for sure. I really do like Ulmog though. Maybe I cut a land. Could that be weird? Or oh, even a Heart of Keld. Uh, we'll, we'll go like this. Try cutting a land. Might have been a bit greedy on the play. Alright, we're keeping this. Assuming we can draw a land. This is a... um. Turn 3. Wrong one. So you, again, we'd rather the Sorceress Firegrass be a land now. A Sorceress Firegrass enters the battlefield, choose an look at an opponent's hand, then choose a card name. Activated abilities from the source can't be played unless they're mana abilities. So we can name Blue Delta. Oh, I'm gonna name a card name, so I can name Blue the Delta, right? Because that's an activated ability. That's how that works. So we've seen the island. Will I get to be... Will I be able to play my Oracle here is the question. We're going to get our mountain here. Alright, well, we're just going to play a Domri. And tick up. He's got a Hex. No, he can't play the Hex Mage. So that's good. And then we'll try... We can either draw cards. I guess drawing cards might be safer. It depends if he plays a Swamp or not. I might just draw... Okay, so I think I will actually draw cards. Alright, well, he's, he's drawn quite well, considering his hand. Yeah, let's let's make sure we hit our land drops. We we, we just kind of want to play safely now. There's a land drop. So we can stop. Mm, I've got to figure out how we want to play this. That uh, worst rider. Oh, that's a good draw. It's a bit awkward. Um, so worst riders in play. We've seen both the islands. He can take a, another turn, so he can take two turns, which will beat down on my. So I think I kind of do want to play the oracle here if I can afford it. Play the oracle and hope for a land. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Yeah, I don't even care about the Oracle anymore, it can die, I'm playing bigger stuff. Uh, I think my plan is to take out his Black Miner with Woodfall Primus. But um, yeah, that went quite well for us.
Okay. It's not too bad for me. So we've got the Bone Shredder out. He's still, like, he's not going to be out of Hex Mage anytime soon. Let's go green. Lay the land. I green with Domri. <sighs> Woodville Primus. Kill off the Swamp. Um, this is seven, so I can play this Henge, and then use the Henge to play Farseek, grabbing my other red for the Glorybringer. This game went to plan. So we shouldn't be facing a Time Warp this turn. He's got, it can't, he can't play any of the cards in his hand. He's got, well, he's got two more he could possibly play. I do still kind of need to find a way to finish up this game. One thing I might do is kill my Woodfall Prime so continue killing his lands. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um. Let's go like this. Probably take him tapping my blue. Uh, Nissa. Uh, I like Glorybringer here. And I will play Nissa. Not like this, though. Green. Um. Green. Oh, I can't even do it properly. Eh, whatever. Um, then let's just probably attack with this. Champs. So you can play a Hex Mage, like three cards in his hand don't really do much. That was a very fortunate draw for us, I think. Sorcerer's Spyglass was um, doing a lot of work. Very lucky to get rid of his Polluted Delta. He would have had the Hex Mage for our guy, and then we wouldn't end up being able to play the Nissa. So I think that was um, pretty much a loss if we don't hit the Delta there. Wow. All right, bad luck from our opponent. Uh, Magic on the online does that. I feel like if you're playing in paper, that mistake doesn't happen. But yeah, F6-ing. <laughs> I've F6ed through my turn before and that was not a good feeling all right pretty lucky there pretty fortunate that um magic on the online favored us but also hey deck once it gets turning this deck did a lot of work um that was a very quick primeval titan slash and i don't know what cut i i think i, like, I played primeval titan and Nissa on the same turn i know the big one was um going with four primaris into um Engine to far seek. So we got some power. That's good. But yeah, Mimic Bat. Mimic Bat doing Mimic Bat might be the best guard in cube. Like I, I lose against it and I win with it, so that might be a sign. Alright. So Shadow Kyle is a really powerful card in draft because you because it says you may play the play the exile card without paying its mana cost if a if your library has 20 or fewer cards in it your library gets to 20 cards very very easily when you um play draft whoa finally a good hand i 
sapphire. Oh wait, hold on. it says. I don't know. I don't. Know what, I don't know what the name is. It's called golden sapphire. We're keeping this. We did keep a hand that we didn't have to mulligan last game. No, did we? Maybe I mulliganed every hand. I'm not sure. But I feel like the last game we kept. All right. Well, that gives us a backup if we uh, our devoted druid kicks the bucket. Also, might lead to a uh, turn four titan here. Assuming we draw one more land, we've done pretty well here. So I've got to figure out whether I want to play Coalition Relic, or um, I guess I'm playing Coalition Relic. Sure. That is a bit of a clock. At some point we're going to bring uh, down Guru can take care of that Legion Warhorse. This is the advantage of playing Mana Dorks. Um, I would rather just put a roadblock on. Cast a Love Drop Beast. I guess we don't. Uh, if we get past the Exile, that's not the worst. He, he does. We does get to kill our Garrick, but we get to kill his Legion War Boss, and we're only taking um. So I guess we will be taking a fair amount of damage. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. What's the last card? I guess the lightning bolt would be pretty nasty here. So I'd like to draw a land here. Whoa, flame slash, nice. All right. Well, glory ring is going to do some work. We might be able to get a prime evil titan going. Kind of suggests that he doesn't have any blockers, so maybe we just don't. I don't know. We're going to take a big hit here. Probably will play the Glory Bringer. Oh, of course, you can do that. <laughs> well, I guess we still want to draw land. Yeah, I guess Flame Slash is not one I anticipated. So there's the five damage. He eventually got it in. Man, he's just really uh, hampered my mana here. All right, well, that gives us a blocker and a chance to um, play something sweet next turn. Like, we had a good hand. We just couldn't quite draw our fourth land and um, had to say goodbye to Verdroid and Coalition Relic, so it's unfortunate. We're taking another five damage here. All right, well, let's see his deck. What's he got? Who's got Ragavan? Yeah, that's a force. So, um... We'll see what we're going to play here. Um, we're going to get a red here, I think. Nine. We're just dead, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. Exactly. All right. A braid and crater maker doing their work. So what do we bring in here? Um. Well, we, against crater maker and a braid, perhaps we do to that side of the devoted for a um. Heath, I think that's correct. I kind of like playing um, the Steel Leaf Champion and the Master, and probably the this guy here. Um, do I want to play the creature? Yeah, let's just put in all our low drops. What are we going to take out? I think we take out you. Take out our eight drop. Any life seems really good. 
Plow Wonder, I think maybe less good against a creature deck. Um, and just one more card. I guess we can maybe take out a land because we've um taken out a lot of our big spells. Okay. Oh, we'll keep this. This is so many roadblocks. We do need one more land, but um, Heart's Desire. Oh, okay. It's quite grim. Alright, that's really good. So we kind of got access to everything now. Um, lands are good draws. And I guess Creatures Lesson 3 are good draws. Every land is very good for us. Uh, I think I would rather play... I just play a... Den Protector here. So why it's in there, just to give us a quick drop. Maybe we'd rather have a land at this point, but it's fine. Flame Slash, huh? Okay. You can Flame Slash that, mate. Might be Flame Slash that, then my, um, Love Struck base. It gets a bit scary if we never draw our, like last time we just never draw our next land. So this could probably get maybe getting a bit scary. Actually wouldn't mind a um his land. Ha. Huh. Okay, good. This is a two one. Two ones are fine. Can we hit a land though? That's a big question. Alright, well, luck came around in the end. I think, like, I think I actually do play, um, Harmonize again over Oracle. We'll play Oracle next turn. Yeah. Cool. I mean, we can still just attack with... A human. So we play this the next turn. Most likely. Unless, of course, we actually have access to Henge. Then I'll go Henge. Um, five. This costs four. I can play Henge. And then I can play... This? Yeah, okay. I like where this is going. So I gotta figure out what's better, playing an Apex Predator and starting to tick up and make Death Touch guys. It's probably what I want to do, right? Or I can play maybe a Nissa and a um. Alright, there's a Crane Maker. So goodbye, Great Hinge. Oh, what? He's not killing my Great Hinge. Ooh, okay. I'm playing a Prime Emblem type for sure, right? Tax over the top. He's going pretty wide here. But letting me untap with, um... Collision Relic and Henge seems like a very bold move. Um... We'll add green. And we'll go one... Oh, we get to have eight... 10 mana. I can, play, I can play um Oracle as well. Let's start off with an Oracle. For my decisions. Unfortunately, I'm going to draw that land. Well, I guess not really unfortunately, but
Uh, not enough. Okay, well that worked a lot better. Now I'm on the draw, I definitely take out a land. And um, yeah, I think this is fine. Sure. You just gotta withstand the onslaught and make sure we draw our lands. And don't get overwhelmed with creatures. This is the perfect hand to do that. Turn one, turn two, turn three plays. <laughs> two, like a 5-4 and a 5-5. Five, five. I could probably play the Steel League Champion. <laughs> Before playing the Love Struck Beast. No one drop, which is fantastic for us. I like where this is going. Um, yeah, we'll start off with a Heart's Desire. Oh, interesting. An Arcanist, huh? Well, it's not... I don't think that's going to get in for damage next turn. Might also get eaten up by a Guruk, depending on what I want to do. So Arcus could get annoying. I ain't no denying that. Oh, wait, wait, oh, it tramples. It gets around my secure tribe builder. Kind of depends what he plays here. I suppose that's a good one. But now I do get to use Guruk here. can attack, man. Oh, he doesn't want to attack. Fair enough. Um, Let's get red. We've got a heart of Keld in hand. Let's make sure he just doesn't have a creature to use that on. Got all my lands. So I'm a bit scared of like a hasty creature maybe. So maybe it isn't worth going through for the damage unless he has that um that goblin. I don't have too many red and blue creatures, so I think I'm reasonably safe here, safe here from this um, sword. I guess I'm worried about the, him playing like 2 one, one flyers right now. Would be the most awkward. I'm trying to think of the cards I have to get rid of this. Okay. That's fine. i got to figure out how aggressive I want to be. Hmm. These two do the same thing. Alright, I guess I play this. See what's on top. Been very lucky with this so far. And I will continue to be lucky. And there's Glory Bringer that I cannot play. Alright, well, I guess I'm not afraid to attack anymore. And um, we're going to play Avenger next turn. How's that feel? There's Abby, and I imagine he's got a land on top. He hasn't been drawing his lands lately. Yeah, there's land, and he can equip that. Scorch on that, fair enough. So, hmm. One, two, three. Right, well, I think I take this point to maybe play the Avenger. Just making sure we've got enough blockers. And then I can play the Heart of Keld, which gives us a really good chance of drawing our stuff. I'm probably also going to attack with the 1-1 one, one human. That's serious not to. I guess Path to Exile would be quite nice here. Create a Maker. It's not too much. You can equip a sword. Mm -hmm. So that protects from my glory bringer. So we drew land. So what I might do is start off by playing Heart of Keld. Primeval Titan on top. It's going to make my <laughs> plan tokens go insane. And I guess, um, 
we drop a love struck beast. And then pass it back. Can't attack with Kellogg because he's got protection from red. Wonder if they'll pack it up here. That was good. I feel like we sided into a um, a deck that was good against his um, removal spells, so we didn't quite get caught out by the crater uh, crater maker and the braid more than once. Uh, I shouldn't speak too soon here. Let's see what he's got. He's still playing. He knows I've got a, a primal titan coming. With three. Oh, that works. Okay. Game on, I suppose. Still pretty happy with my defense here. Again, I just want to outlast him. Seven one twos. Hopefully, will be enough. <sighs> ah, well. Fortunately, I cannot wait for the Gurok. And Sheldock's going to be great here. Got a second mountain. Um, we're going to grab a Nyssa. And... I also turn back. If that was a forest, I think we would have been able to play the um, Still Leaf Champion as well. So we don't have all the mark. I'm trying to think of ways because I, I had a few ways to get rid of um Oh I've got a Beastmaster. Alright, uh, Zeus Conscript is gonna get him a lot of lands, and I guess I have to copper attack from my own guy. I've got to watch out for something like, um... Hmm. So I think the first thing I do is play Nissa. Actually, I probably don't want to play it like that. Let's use our blue, because we want one blue for this purpose. Cast. Boom. There's Nissa. And then we can go... Like this. And we are going to have to sort of give up our... I think there's a reason not to attack with a land now I've played. What land to attack with though? Um, let's go... And this one here. And then let's plus a swamp. And let's see, let's see if he gangs up on my um primeval titan. Of course we're getting rid of those conscripts. Make his blocking my vigilance creature awkward. Two more forests. What if I play to land this turn? It's an interesting block. It wasn't the one I was expecting. Actually, I probably want to do this differently, because can I do everything here? 
7. No, I can't. Okay, well, it's just, um, oh, I can. 8. So I can play this. And then make a guy. All right, surely, surely that will be enough. Mizium Mortis? Leaving me with um, a 5-5 five, five and a 6-6. Six, six. Yep, we caught it. He had it. But he's still on three. If he can play a blocker here, I guess there might be some play. I've still got some very powerful cards in my deck, though. I didn't realize I probably had lethal there if I did a big swing. Um, two one two one. Okay, well this deck, uh, I guess it's a bit shaky, but we've got to the final. So there's that. Boom. Through... Playing my, all my roadblocks and also getting lucky with a polluted delta. We did trophy. Oh, well, we, um, we got to the final, I should say. We haven't trophied yet. It's weird not playing Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch, but I don't think this is the time to play those cards. Will our luck stop? Tropic. All right, let's go first. And keep this hand, yes. This is either a turn three Domri or secure tribe elder. Assuming everything goes to plan. Very happy to draw another land. Okay, so yeah, this is the perfect hand. This is kind of it, kind of where we want to be. All right, I would have loved to see the minor block there, but that's okay. I think we just um, I'm not too sure what we do here. Red, yeah. Um, okay, so, if we play down Domri, it gives us a chance to maybe Primeval Titan next turn. Um, or we could play Guruk and start making 2-2s. Two kind of like the idea of playing Guruk and you're starting to start to make 2-2s. Two that sounds pretty, pretty strong to me. Then, this way, if we draw... A nice three drop like a coalition relic. We can Domri and then play the um, coalition relic, or we can fight our opponent's cards. 
which kind of might be necessary here. So we can play the Domri and have our wolf fight the Huntmaster here. Which seems like a pretty good play. Um, so I'm going to play a Domri. I'm going to create a wolf. And I'm going to fight the Huntmaster with the wolf I just created. And get in there. And we should be able to maybe kill a land next turn if we're lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can just play um, Avenger of Zendikar. But yeah, being on the play was pretty strong this time around. I guess we, if we weren't on the play, we would have to settle for using Garrick up and killing his guy. Well, that's a guy we can just kill. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, okay, well, I th feel like the first thing we do is just kill his guy. The second thing we do is make um, our guy uncounterable. And then the third thing we do is make a lot of 1-1s. One and finally, we get in for some damage. Feel like we're doing pretty good here. We have a very strong board. Eternal Witness, getting back what? Getting the goose back, okay. All right, well, blue, green, ramp. He's playing that much green. I kind of want a sword in my deck. Um, I'm also looking at Sundering Titan. Getting oh, like really, uh, I can't use minor abilities, so it doesn't really work. So one thing you can do against maybe a slower deck is to add in bigger cards and take out. Again, I could take out Love Struck Beast. I feel like that card's kind of random here. All right, let's try and take out Love Struck Beast. Um. Pelucranos. Is Pelucranos any good? That Pel Pelucranos is kind of good. I could kind of land for something, but I kind of want my lands as well. Could also play Master of the Wild Hunt. To like mess with his one drops. And all his little creatures. I really like my three drops. I kind of don't want to ask them up. All my other cards are really good. Woodfall Primus looks fantastic. So one thing I could do is cut Woodfall Primus for Master of the Wild Hunt. Let's give that a go. I think Master's going to be good against this kind of deck. Blue doesn't always have the removal to um, deal with a hunt on board. Well, this is... Alright, I'm going to keep this because this is, just in this hand, a turn for Titan, if all goes to the plan. Not saying it will, but... Okay. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That made my deck a lot better. Yeah, we've we've gone very well. Like he, he could beat us. Like he's got a his turn one play and turn two play and turn three play all sorted. He's fast, absolutely. So he's got a good hand as well. So we're both playing our magic. If I could draw a two drop here, fair enough. Um, 
So I could actually play Master next turn. And then Nyssa. So what does he play here? So he's going to drop a beast. I think I'd rather play my mana. Devoted or... Oh, wow. Okay, so now I kind of want to play Master. To get rid of that. Play Master of Wild Hunt. And then play... Nissa of the turn after. That seems pretty good to me. Probably getting red here. Does that change things? I think we'll, we'll get to the old log eventually. I'm going to try and play a master. He could have a condescend here. Okay. So what's he got? He's got seven mana. So he's done a lot of ramping. I guess this is where he could kind of take over the game. But he really needs to have something this turn. If it's just a love struck beast, I don't think that will be good enough. Does make playing my Nissa kind of awkward. Um, because he have, I guess if he has a removal spell, it'd be frustrating. Okay, so he's got something here. So it could be an Avenger. All right. So what does it say? Of each upkey, it's a 3 3, sacrifice another serpent to tap it permanent. Okay. So, how does this change? Hmm. Don't really care about the diverger anymore. I kind of regret not playing the coalition relic now. Um. So can play Nyssa, make a forest into a dude, and then play a Sylvan Caryatid. So at least guarantee me one blocker, then the turn after, six, seven, eight, I need to draw, hmm. I think that's what we do. It's close, yeah. The Devoted Druid got to do its thing. And again, going first seemed to be the key part of this game. But I imagine if we can like, resolve an Ulamog, we might be able to bring this back. You'd hope. We can at least double spell with Primeval Titan and Coalition Relic. I'm just going to see what he's got in his hand. I feel like one more good spell that affects the board will really lock this up. So he can sacrifice his creatures to give it indestructible. That doesn't, that doesn't help. Oh, good. Yeah, this is fine. So, I do have um, a little more waiting to come down. Sure. Yep, so he's got a lot of power out of that. Serpent's powerful. Stop. Oh, he's got, he doesn't have a click, does he? No, he can't play click. Hmm, there's mine. Alright, so I go one, 
two, three, four, five, six, untap forest. And you're going to see my big thing now. First one's easy. Second one's probably just a love struck beast. I guess so. Could be tricky and take out the human, but I think it is just these two. And you can sacrifice. Or well, what on earth? Convoke? Quarter calling. So we can tap his um to coils as well. Ah oh, man, that's great for four. So you could have, this must be saying good if it's for four. Oh, it's a Mystic Snake. Ah, oh, well done, opponent. Good plays. Good plays. All right, well, we take out those two. So we've still got a lot of problems here. So does he. And we don't lose our Nissa here, so we can still sort of start taking over. <sighs> Alright, just draw, draw a land, so... It's got a lot of damage on board. We can chump something. Or oh, actually... He needs to attack with the human. Is he going to see it? He did? Okay. So what's worth more? I think we go block here. Oh no, no, no. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. We punted pretty hard there. Okay. Bye bye, Nissa. <laughs> Did not hit blocks, I hit. <laughs> The ability. Yuck. Okay. Well, we're not out of it yet. Our plan is to attack with our guys and play a Primeval Titan. Sorry, Nissa. It would be a lot better to have a Nissa, but this will have to do. I get our shell dock and probably just our wooden cemetery. And I suppose Glory Bring looks pretty good here. If he draws an 8-drop, I guess I'll be a bit embarrassed that I didn't use the um, Master of Wild Hunt. Let's start picking off his guys. Land. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play Guruk down and get rid of his Mystic Snake. Subtlety, very good. We'll put it on the top. It's got flying, that thing does.
and then we could probably just play maybe I don't know Yeah, we just go Coalition Rack. I think we'll just tap it. Mm, that does actually put us a turn off um, using our Glory Bringer. Would I rather play a Glory I think I'd rather play um, Garrick next turn. Losing Nissa was really bad, but we're still kind of going off here. Just don't want our opponent, opponent to draw any action. Like, if they draw one land, we uh, go so far ahead. Like, we've got, we're drawing so much action. Hmm. Oh, that was it. That's a trophy. All right. Wow. Okay. So we needed to, 